Hi everyone, it's Katrina. When it comes to archaeology, there are always new discoveries popping up, sometimes when you least expect it. From little kids accidentally uncovering ancient bones on the playground, to palaces unearthed in distant lands, and even a new Stonehenge, here are 11 amazing archaeological discoveries. Number 11. Ancient Burial Mound in 2006, a group of kindergartners in France got quite the scare when they came upon 5,600-year-old human remains. After accidentally digging up bones in the playground, it was discovered that the school the children went to was built on top of an ancient burial mound. A study of the mound revealed the remains are thousands of years old, and just this year it was determined that the site is older and more crowded than originally thought. The article published in the April 2019 issue of the Journal of Archaeological Science detailed what the team of archaeologists discovered when they excavated the mound. There were at least 30 individuals interred in the ground, with 20 adults and 10 children. They were also buried only about 1.6 feet deep. But what's most remarkable is the fact that they were placed there over a 2,000-year period, which began in the late Neolithic, about 3,600 BC, and ended in 1250 BC in the Iron Age. Researchers are still confused as to why this particular spot was chosen. What was special about it? By analyzing the dental remains, researchers were able to discover that the individuals ate food from the land rather than fishing from the nearby river. They also believe they were born in a much colder climate and were transported to the site after their deaths. Among the bodies, grave relics, including broken ceramics, metal, and animal bones were also found, making this a remarkable discovery by unknowing kindergartners. I wonder if any were inspired to become archaeologists after that experience. Number 10. Sorcerer's Stones Found in Pompeii No, it's not another Harry Potter book, but these ancient stones found recently in Pompeii are definitely headline-worthy. Found in a room in the Casa del Giardino, or House of the Garden, this treasure trove of objects was used in fertility spells by an ancient Roman sorcerer. They were located in an area believed to have been the servants' quarters in a wooden chest with bronze hinges. Among the objects found were pieces of bone carved into small skulls and fists, small bronze bells, which researchers believe were rung as a way to ward off evil spirits, and amethyst carved into scarab beetles. Amber and crystals were also found, as well as depictions of the god Dionysus on glass beads. So why do experts believe these objects belong to a sorcerer and not the owner of the home? The villa belonged to a wealthy family, and such prominent owners would have had gold jewelry instead of the curious collection of items found by researchers. Such items would have been worn during rituals and not to a more elegant affair. To find such objects is remarkable enough, given the destruction caused by Mount Vesuvius when it erupted in 79 AD. But to uncover such items, as well as the remains of 10 people, including women and children, gives insight into the type of people who inhabited the city and who were forced to leave their personal belongings behind in an effort to avoid certain death. Unfortunately, the owner of these magical items wasn't successful in avoiding the wrath of the volcano's eruption, but their legacy has certainly survived and lives on in these treasured items found by archaeologists. Number 9. Skeleton in the Driveway In Northern Ireland, a man named Bertie Curry was doing some work on his land trying to make a driveway. Instead, kind of like the unsuspecting kindergartners, he found human bones. Immediately, he called the police, and they were able to determine that he wasn't sitting on a murder scene because the bones were much older. The bones were taken away by archaeologists instead, and they found something quite unexpected. The bones that Curry had found were extremely old. In fact, they were older than the Celts that had landed in Ireland over 1,000 years ago, if not more. Why is this significant? Historians believe that the original Celts made it to Ireland from Britain between 1000 to 500 BC, but the bones found were from around 2000 BC, which means that somebody came before them. But who were they? Does this change the historical timelines? Until other similar remains are found, it is very hard to tell. But in any case, hopefully Bertie finished his driveway. Hi Bertie! Number 8. Ancient Palace of Iraq An ancient palace once underwater in Iraq has recently emerged. Discovered in the Mosul Dam Reservoir on the banks of the Tigris River, the 3,400-year-old palace emerged after water levels dropped due to drought. Seen as one of the most important archaeological discoveries in the region in decades, the palace originally stood 65 feet from the river on an elevated terrace. 
Known as Kemune, the palace was made from mud brick walls that were up to 6.6 .6 feet thick. A number of wall paintings were also found painted with shades of red and blue, making Kemune only the second site in the region where wall paintings of the Mitanni period have been discovered. As if these discoveries weren't enough, ten clay tablets covered in cuneiform, an ancient system of writing, were also found. Measuring roughly 1,000 yards by 550 yards, the area also includes grand houses, a palace, and an extensive road network. As experts continue to analyze their finds, they hope to gain insight into the structure of the Mitanni Empire and to translate the information found on the clay tablets. And now for number 7, but first, big shout out to Juicy Sipula who has bought some merch! Thank you so much! By buying our merch, you help us to keep making videos that are bigger and better. Details will be in the description box and let us know what kind of merch you would like to see in the comments below. Number 7. Ram-Headed Sphinx Every time you turn on the news, there seems to be another amazing discovery made in Egypt. In March 2019, archaeologists discovered a 3,000-year-old carving workshop that contains several unfinished sculptures. Chiseled from sandstone, one of the discoveries inside the workshop, a ram-headed sphinx, is believed to date to the time of the 18th dynasty. Measuring 11 and a half feet tall, archaeologists believe the item could have been commissioned by Pharaoh Amenhotep III, the grandfather of King Tut. Found beneath several feet of debris, originally only the head of the Sphinx was visible. Carved in a similar style to the ones found at the Concert Temple in Karnak, hundreds of stone fragments were also found that had hieroglyphs, as well as a carving of a coiled cobra that they believe once crowned the head of the Sphinx. The team also found a smaller sphinx that they believe is perhaps a practice piece carved by an apprentice. Both sculptures were in a rough-cut state and ready for transportation, but might have been abandoned when the larger sculpture fractured. The site directly along the banks of the Nile was believed to have been a quarry, but recent excavations revealed that it was actually a home for the workers from the quarry as well as their families. The massive sphinx was cut from a sandstone block that weighed 10 metric tons. Covered in Roman-era quarry debris, there doesn't seem to be any obvious reason why it was abandoned. It's possible, though, that when the pharaoh died and his son took the throne, all his commission projects were cancelled and then abandoned. Whatever the case, this historical find by archaeologists gives insight into the artistry and history of one of the most significant dynasties in ancient Egypt. Number 6. Witchcraft Potion What do Saratoga Springs, New York and the small village of Northamptonshire in England have in common? They are both connected to a strange discovery at a British pub. A 19th century bottle found recently during roof repairs is believed to have once belonged to a witch who lived in the UK before moving to New York at the age of 15. She was a young witch. Inside the bottle, there were fish hooks, human teeth, glass, and a liquid, leading researchers to believe it was once used in witchcraft. Researchers at the Museum of London Archaeology say similar stone or glass vessels were used as objects of protection against curses and spells. Sometimes found beneath the floors of historic buildings, in churchyards, and on archaeological sites, the bottles usually contained pins and nails. So how does it connect to a witch who ended up in New York City? Enter Angeline Tubbs, a young woman born in the building in 1761 where the bottle was located. Known as the Witch of Saratoga, Angeline later left the UK for America where she reportedly told fortunes in Saratoga Springs. Dating back to the 19th century, the bottle remains a relic to the near past where superstitions and charms held a powerful hold, both over the general public and in the minds of those who looked for something to ease their mind against the perils of witchcraft. Number 5. Mummified Mice When you hear of mummies, you normally think of human mummies, maybe the occasional cat or a bull. But it might be safe to say that you never expected mummified mice to be found in an Egyptian tomb. Dating back more than 2,000 years, a tomb discovered in Egypt contained dozens of mummified mice along with 50 other animals. That's a lot of work that went into those. Besides the traditional cats, there were hawks as well, and the mice may have been sent along with them so they could eat in the afterlife. Found near the Egyptian town of Sohag, the tomb is believed to date back nearly 2,000 years. Built for a man named Tutu and his wife, it is just one of seven discovered in the area last October. Funeral processions and images of the owner working in the fields were found on the painted walls, as well as depictions of his family genealogy and hieroglyphs. It also contained mummies of a woman and a boy. The paintings are extremely well preserved and mostly undamaged by looters. There is a huge problem of smugglers in the area since there are around seven big burial sites full of treasures. 
so it seems like there is a struggle going on between looters and the Ministry of Archaeology as they race to preserve things before they get stolen. Number 4. Aztec Sacrifices In downtown Mexico City, archaeologists have discovered a trove of Aztec sacrifices and artifacts. But what's most exciting about the find? It could lead to the discovery of an Aztec emperor's tomb. Sacrificial offerings were found in a stone box off the steps of the Aztec Templo Mayor in downtown. Among the discoveries were a richly adorned jaguar dressed as a warrior and a young boy who was dressed to resemble the Aztec patron deity Huitzilopochtli, the war and sun god. Elaborately decorated flint knives were also found adorned with mother of pearl and precious stones. Deposited by Aztec priests over five centuries ago, the offerings were found in a circular pattern on a ritual platform at the front of the temple. Historical accounts describe this place as the final resting place of Aztec kings. Expectations are high, with archaeologists believing they could possibly find something even more astounding as they dig deeper, hopefully an emperor's tomb. Only about one-tenth of the contents have been excavated, but the jaguar found at the center of the circular platform has been the most exciting. Found on top of the jaguar were also a number of shells, bright red starfish, and coral that are believed to represent the watery underworld the Aztecs believe their sun traveled to every night before emerging at the start of a new day. The Templo Mayor would have been a 15-story pyramid that was expanded by each Aztec king. The temple was believed to be at the center of the universe, but was raised to the ground in 1521 with the Spanish conquest of Mexico. What lies under the ground remains preserved, and archaeologists are hopeful they will find the tomb of an Aztec king. Number 3. Fifth Dynasty Tomb in Egypt When you first see images of the Fifth Dynasty tomb discovered in Egypt in April 2019, you would be surprised to realize that the tomb is estimated to be 4,400 years old. Built for an individual named Kui, a senior nobleman who lived during the Fifth Dynasty of Egypt, the tomb is located in the Grand Necropolis of Saqqara, the ancient capital of Lower Egypt. The tomb is made up of white limestone blocks and is shaped like an L, with a corridor leading to an antechamber and then a larger one. The walls are covered with colorful reliefs, showing the owner seated at a table with offerings and inscriptions. These paintings are especially well preserved and look like something you might see at the Luxor in Vegas. A special green resin was used throughout, and archaeologists also found special oils used in the burial process. In recent years, a number of settlements and tombs have been discovered by archaeologists from the same dynasty, so Egyptologists have their work cut out for them. To be found in such good condition is an incredible discovery for the Antiquities Ministry and allows us an insight into an ancient people whose legacy still continues to be uncovered. Number 2. Roman Shipwreck in Cyprus Finding shipwrecks in the ocean is pretty cool but kind of expected. However, when the remains of an ancient Roman shipwreck were found off the coast of Cyprus, researchers were stunned. Discovered off the coast of the resort town Protaras, the ancient cargo ship was found laden with ancient jugs that were once used to hold oil and wine and believed to be from Syria and Cilicia, an early Roman province now a part of Turkey's Mediterranean coast. Why is this discovery so great? This find will offer insight into ancient trade between Cyprus and other Roman provinces and can be compared to other Roman shipwrecks found off the coast of Israel, Egypt, and Italy. As the first known undisturbed Roman shipwreck to be found in the area, the ancient ship's cargo as well as the vessel itself will only strengthen the already rich history of both Cyprus and Rome, and one that the Department of Antiquities will be celebrating and investigating for years to come. Number 1. Spanish Stonehenge Residents near Peraleda de la Mata in Spain grew up hearing legends of a sunken treasure, and thanks to a drought, they are now finding the legend is in fact true. Believed to have been created in the 2nd and 3rd millennia BC, an ancient site of 144 recently discovered stone megaliths are being dubbed the Spanish Stonehenge. Dating back 5,000 years, the stones are arranged in a circle similar to Stonehenge in the UK. The site was submerged back in 1963 after a dam was built in the area and a reservoir was created. But due to warm weather and large amounts of water extraction, the historical site has now re-emerged. There is still a lot of mystery surrounding the stones. No one knows why they were built or who put them there, but it is believed that they were possibly used for ritual worship as a sun temple and burial ground. Standing up to 2 meters tall, some of them still have ancient carvings of snakes. It is believed the granite stones were transported from many kilometers away. Found near one of the few points in the river where it was possible to cross, leads investigators to believe the area could have been used as a trading hub. 
Local residents, worried that the stones might be at risk now that they are exposed, are campaigning to have the stones removed to dry land to preserve them. They are already showing signs of erosion and cracking. Any sudden rains would flood them and it could be years before they are revealed again. Time is of the essence now and we can only hope that officials and archaeologists will be able to preserve this Spanish Stonehenge so we can continue to unlock the mystery of its origin. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!